Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, at Jerry's Artorama. As I promised you, I was getting ready to do these conventions here at Art of the Carolinas. I'm here right in the middle of one, as a matter of fact. So here we are in this classroom. This morning's class, it's full. Lots of students are here. We're gonna be throwing paint all over the place. This morning is all about splashing flowers and splashing paint and getting all over the place on the on our paper and our Strathmore paper, okay? And we have our acrylics. I'm all set up, ready to go. The class hasn't come in yet. They're about to come in here. I thought I'd do this uh, blast before the whole place gets wild and crazy. Here we are set up with the Holbein paints. I have the float acrylics. I have my paper. I have my examples on the walls. This morning it is all about loose splashes that turn into flowers. Okay, so we make it all up as we go along. This morning class, we have the uh, examples up here on the wall. The students get their own paint. We give them the paper. We turn on the music. The place is wonderful. And what I'd like to do is start off with the, as I say, really loose, loose, loose splashing, and then start doing some negative space painting around those splashes. They turn into vases with flowers. We work on different color schemes, lights, the dark, and, and really in much larger pieces like that too. And it's only three hours. And then this, that's this morning's class. This afternoon's class is going to be loose landscapes. Let me show you that wall. And this afternoon's class is all about landscapes. You can see my examples here on the wall. We start off lots of loose little landscapes, big brushes, paper towels. And this one is actually all about the four compositions in a landscape, where we have everything on one side and a little thing on that side. We have tunnel vision here. We're gonna be doing that. We make it all up, it's just so great. But we stick, we stick with the composition. Here's one with a high horizon line. Here's one with a low horizon line. Pretty simple, right? And we, as I said, we just work with color. And then this is negative shape painting. These are my palm trees where we make a lot of paint all over the place and then start coming cutting in and, until we see some trees. Here they are, here they are. Here's some of the examples. We have an awful lot of paints uh, to sell to the students. They love these, they get to finger through them. Now let me show you my setup here at the table. I wanted to show you my setup. It's the same one that I use in the studio. I'm right-handed, so I put all my materials on the right-hand side. My buckets of water, here's my Holbein uh, fluid acrylics. There's my gel medium from Holbein. It comes in a bag. My brushes, have them all out. Now I'm getting ready for this workshop, so I'm going to work exactly the same way that I work uh, in my studio. My tubes are painted on my right-hand side and my paper's ready to go. It's already has a tone on it. My color wheel, I insist on having my color wheel near me all the time. I have my permission slips. Some of you have received some of these. They're fun. Everybody has a permission to paint the way they've always wanted to paint. I'm all set, ready to go. We're about to open the doors here and there'll be 42 students running in here to do this morning's class and then another set of students coming in the afternoon. That's Art of the Carolinas, a great place to go and buy a lot of materials. We're 50% off. I mean, I know like I sound like a salesman, but that's where I go to get some of my pieces too for in the studio. Anyway, thanks for watching this Bob Blast. It's kind of funny this morning. I know I, it's not in my studio, but we wanted to show you exactly when we talk about these conventions, Jerry's Artorama and all those classes, all those instructors, what it's like. The class is gonna be filled, fantastic service. I cannot wait to see you on the next Bob Blast and thanks again for sharing. Hi there, we have some exciting workshops coming up in the year 2018, it's right around the corner. And the first one's gonna be in here in Mexico. Uh, January 20th to 27th, it's a fantastic place. It's in uh, about 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in our own private little villa. It's fantastic, great casa. That's where the rivers meet the ocean. We're right there in a fishing village, just us. It's fantastic. 20 of us will be there painting. And uh, the food is fantastic. The wonderful morning smells of barbecue and mesquite burning and you hear the boats going out, the fishing boats every morning. It's a fantastic, working village in 
uh, 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta. I love going there. I, I've been there quite a few times. I can't wait to go back. And the sounds of the birds and the jungle back there, it's just exciting. They do a great job at taking care of us, okay? Let you know it's completely safe. It's wonderful. I love going there. So that's that new schedule. And we have a new one too for uh, next year in my studio there in the Royal Grande, California. We have those three different kinds. We have the mentor, real popular one, it's seven students. They come and bring their own work, and I'm working too. It's a three-day workshop, and we wine and dine you. It's fantastic. We also have kind of an atelier. It's a five-day one for a lot of beginners or people who just want to renew uh, what it's like to be in an art school. And so they come here in the studio, and I do these lessons all day long for five days. Fantastic. Then we also do the one-on-one, -on -one, where lots of individuals love to come and just one person is them and me, and we work for three days. They have their special projects, and I focus 100% on them. That's going to be the uh, new schedule. I'm excited about it. It's going to have a lot of new stuff coming up, too. So go to my website, 